Hi guys, so what I was going back uh, to saying about bullying, Do, does a bully actually know how someone feels when they're being bullied? Okay, so it's not just one bully we're dealing with, we're dealing a whole load of them, it's not just one. Because what I found when I was at school is one bully will start to pick on you and then the others will follow like sheep copying. You might get the old one that stands up and says, well, leave this girl alone. You know, what you're doing is wrong. But the majority follow each other like sheep. Because they're gutless and they're scared of a bully. Right, so if a bully, a bully goes around saying, oh, this woman's a slag, this woman's a whore, and then everybody joins in because they haven't got minds of their own. They want to follow somebody that's cruel and nasty and evil. Rather than stand up and be a person and a human being, they want to follow a bully and join in with the bully. Right? Because I don't know why people do it. I wish I did. It, 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 you know, you know, right? A bully's got something wrong with them in the head, right? They have. They're not wired properly. They're they're all wrong, right? Whether they've had a bad childhood, they've got a problem with what they look like, so they think, oh, I take it out on somebody else, and I make myself feel better. But they don't because they end up being laughed at themselves when the sheep go somewhere else and do their own thing and they're left alone and nobody's interested. Um, and what the bully is doing is making, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the time a bully person feels absolutely terrible, down in the dumps, miserable, angry, depressed. And some of these bullies push people to suicide. Now I think social platforms should take these bullying comments and these people bullying people online seriously as we should add up the big figures to how many people including children have committed suicide because of bullying and harassment and taking the mickey yeah right I've got to walk past those bins that have still got the word nigger written on them. Um, obviously over the weekend, I don't expect Medway Council to remove it, but during next week I do. Otherwise I should be making a complaint to the local councillor. Right? And where has this black hatred come from? It's disgusting. It's absolutely vile and repulsive. That's vile and repulsive. Right? The majority of people down here are white. They're white. And you have a few ethnic minority families. But primarily, it's white. And we know there's racism in the police force. And how many times have I reported crimes to the police and they've not done anything? But what I can't understand is that I am a white person. I know I've got a woman living next to me with a black dog, but I thought nothing of it till I started getting this racist abuse. Why? People walking up the, that road now with brand new black puppies. There's a woman walking up the road, never seen her before down here, walking up the road with a little puppy that's black. Is it because of my name? Is it because a certain person in Australia called me a turd? A T-U-R-D? I mean, this needs to stop. It really does need to stop. What sort of people join in with racist hatred? What sort of people are these? I 
I ignore it. I don't like it. My sister was moved from her property six times due to bullying. Hers wasn't racial. They were taking the mickey out of her multiple sclerosis. Taking the mickey out of a disability, a person that was disabled. What the sort of people are we breeding in this world? Right? It's absolutely disgusting. And who is allowing it? Who is allowing people to bully someone to death? And it's not just me, there's other people out there. Oh, you've got a spot on your face. There's a mole on your nose. Oh, and that poor person's had cancer and their nose is missing and their jaw's a bit funny. Grow up! 